<laughs> this this one is from Phil McQueen. Hey, Phil. Senior. McQueen Senior. Okay. Um, hey, Robbie. Been watching the show for a good while. Was also watching Chris Perillo. Chris Perillo. Yeah, he for was a while. on the original Tech TV. For a while, but I like your show better. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks. I have been using Ubuntu 9.04 for a while and started messing with some configurations. Made changes via Synaptic Package Manager. Didn't like what I got, so I removed ticks from my choices in Synaptic. Restarted Ubuntu, and now I have a corrupted sign-in screen. The screen seems compressed at the top, with Ubuntu barely readable, and my screen is black background. Can this be corrected without mm. losing my data? Is a repair installation of Ubuntu possible? I unticked two ATIX server files. I would appreciate any help you can give. Uh, you've uninstalled stuff that you shouldn't uninstall, as you know, as you've found out the hard way. Pardon me. Um, so, how do we get it back without having to wipe out your system? First of all, you should know everything that's on your computer is accessible by using a live CD. So anytime you can't boot your Linux computer, just boot from your Ubuntu boot CD, and you'll be able to mount that hard drive, um, and you'll be able to look for the files under slash home on that hard drive. So that's where all your, all your documents, all your photos, everything is. So if it ever came down to it, and you were stuck, plug in an external hard drive, boot from a CD, uh, like an Ubuntu live CD, and you'll be able to mount that hard drive, the external, you'll be able to mount the internal hard drive, and you'll be able to copy things over, and you're safe. Like, that's, that's the nice thing. It's really, really easy to get your files back. But in the meantime, getting your system back should be fairly simple. It sounds like you've just removed some things with Synaptic, thinking, okay, well, I don't need that, I don't need that, and then you reboot it and you realize, oh, I needed that. That was important, because now I've got a black screen and it doesn't do anything. Um, so... There's a couple of different things I would look at. First of all, if you know the applications that you removed, that's easy because then you can just go into a recovery console. So either way, you're going to need recovery console. Get into, like when you reboot your computer, the first thing that you see is, uh, well, you see your post screen, the, like the stuff about your BIOS. You get to what's called Grub. That's your bootloader for Ubuntu. There's other ones that are out there, uh, but... If you're using Ubuntu, it sounds like um, you're going to see Grub. So it might you might see a menu, but it might instead say press Escape to access the menu. So in that case, you would hit Escape and you go into Recovery mode. That's going to boot Linux to basically what looks like a almost like a DOS prompt. It's just a black screen uh, with a bunch of text on it, and it's just waiting for your commands. Um, so in that case, you could sudo apt-get install and reinstall the applications that you removed. That's one thing. But you could also do a dpkg reconfigure on xorg. But I'll show you what, what you can kind of expect here. Let me swap over to a Linux prompt. It looks something like this. Right? So with that screen, you're going you're gonna to actually be automatically logged in at that point. So you could do sudo apt-get install and then the name of the application that you removed and that's going to do it. But what you can also do at this point was something that I would try is sudo dpkg dash reconfigure if I can spell xorg dash or pardon me, no, I think it's x server dash xorg. So sudo dpkg reconfigure with a dash. I'm going to actually bring that up because I, I know I can't zoom in on the on the Linux screen, but just so you have it. So remember, we're in recovery mode. So you've booted into your recovery mode. Okay. Switch screens here. sudo dpkg reconfigure x server xorg, just like that. What that's going to do is it's going to, as you can imagine, it's going to reconfigure your X server. X server, X org is uh, basically like it's your X environment. It's your, let's just say your, your drivers for, for your mouse, for your, your display, things like that. And I hope that that might, that that might do it for you because that's, that's a little too easy. At least that might get you to the point where you can reboot your computer and you'll get into the screen in safe graphics mode. 
And at that point, you'd be able to reinstall your drivers using the hardware installer. Brilliant, right? Um, so when you get to that point, at, then you would click on System, Administration, Hardware Drivers. And that's going to automatically detect, again, your ATI card. It's going to prompt you for the drivers and let you install. I think that will probably do it for you without knowing much more, but hopefully that will uh, take care of you.